I'm Mike Bewalda. I am the founder and president of Money for Ministry, and we help Christian nonprofits get more estate gifts. Can you describe to others, how did we get to know you? The idea of you get us is really the essence of what we try to do with someone's brand. Before we even engaged as partners, uh, just knowing you, knowing your team, there was a chemistry and a sense of we're on the same team. We're doing the same thing. We have the same um, thought about how to serve the heart of the donor. And uh, we, we've, we felt that with your team, that you understand that, that that's what it's all about. And uh, that's why we chose to work together. We were really impressed with your process. We really liked the idea that you were going to not only try to understand us, which you did very, very well, but you wanted to understand our clients, our, our ministry partners, our, our business partners. And so we were really happy with how you took the time to get to know and interview our team and interview several of our nonprofit clients, newer ones, older ones, bigger ones, smaller ones. And that thoroughness, that taking the time to understand and listen, ask questions and get uh, the, to the heart of uh, what we do and what others say we do, how they perceive our work. The brand personality discussion was very enlightening. Uh, your team came to us and said, uh, we've talked to your clients, we've talked to your vendors, we've talked to your team, and here's how we would describe uh, your brand personality. We found that people think of you as very, very high integrity, and that corresponds with the color blue. Uh, we, people think of you as high energy, enthusiastic, and that corresponds with the color orange. And they think of you as delivering growth, real growth, tangible, reportable growth, and that corresponds with green. Uh, they think of you as, uh, as loyal and, and wise and, um, and faithful, and that corresponds with purple. So we had all this, this, these color ideas and words that describe a personality. And then from that, we saw a wireframe for our website to say, okay, how does all this, um, uh, these interviews, how does it translate into our refined brand, the color, the messaging, the wording? As we're growing, we're, we're facing more competition. Uh, there are some who want to do this in-house. There are some who are looking at other vendors and looking at, uh, but what makes money for ministry unique? And, and how do you say that in a phrase or, or one, one word? The word we landed on was more. As we talked to our current partners and even future prospects, that what they sensed in us is that if we partner with Money for Ministry, we're getting more. We're getting more value, more estate gifts, more plan gift interest, more understanding of the language of faith, uh, more ability to connect with this, uh, this timely uh, wealth transfer. The key word was more. And we've been using that now, Jeff, in multiple conversations with our current clients and future prospects and have seen already some great results from that. Can you give me an example of more and less? The key thing that we find that nonprofits want when it comes to plan giving is they say, we want more results. We want to have more traction with plan giving during this very important moment in history. But we, we have less staff time to give to it. Uh, we just don't have the internal resources to devote what we'd like to devote uh, to plan giving. So part of that was we had to come through with a message of get mo more results with less staff time. And that's why, Jeff, we uh, have, have put so much time and effort on how to automate our process so that if you're a, a nonprofit with very little time to devote to plan giving, uh, we can help you. We have a way to automate the conversation uh, through conversation by mail uh, or email with your donors uh, to really help them move that conversation from zero to completed estate plan without you doing anything. So that just less staff time could mean zero staff time. But then we also, Jeff, have uh, larger organizations we serve that are medium-sized, even large national charities. Well, guess, guess what? They have the same problem. <laughs> even if they have a team of 20 or 25 or more on development staff, they still have limited staff capacity. And so they're asking us, how can we do more with our existing team? How do we get more results with less staff time? And that's what we're focused on to deliver.